to get through today. So today is the last day that we will be learning or that we will be presenting our terrariums. Last day. All right. First, let's read our vocabulary story. Good job, Lily, Alex, Thomas, Lion, Pirates, Rico, Ben, and Susie for doing your homework. Did anybody else do their homework? Where they read the story and wrote in the correct vocabulary word? Leo, you did yours. Nick, you did yours. All right. Everyone, anyone else? All right, so these ones, plus Leo and Nick. Or sorry, today he's Big Splash. All right, great job, guys. Thank you for doing your homework. So, Lily, Alex, Thomas, Lime, Ricky, Ben, Susie. All right, let's go on to read. Let's read about it. First one, who can read the first sentence? Just the first sentence and fill in the first blank. How about a uh, big splash? Can you read the first sentence? Dear Johnny, today I took a field trip to Marigold Forest. It is an environment. Cool. The rest of the sentence, Big Splash? Cool up tree. Good. Can you say the word? This word is journal. Journal. And this is mulberry. Mulberry. Very nice. All right, can someone read the next sentence? Good job, uh, Big Splash. Susie, could you read the next sentence? Yes. Go ahead. Birds use the trees for shelter. Very good, shelter. Excellent job, Susie. All right, let's have the next sentence, just the next one. Um, how about Leo? Go ahead, Leo. The trees need sunlight to make food. Very good. The trees need sunlight. Oh, sorry. Let's stop there. The trees need sunlight to make food. Very good. Um, how about uh, Riku? Go ahead now, Riku. Can you read the next sentence? Um, the trees need sun. Oh, the, the next word. Eat berry from the tree. Good. The so can you say the word berries? Berries. Very good, Riku. So the birds eat berries from the trees. What else happens in the forest environment? Let's have John. Go ahead, John. The sun, the tree, and the, and the bird are part of uh, which word up here at the top? There's three words. The sun, the trees, and the birds are... Change. Yes. Can you say chain? Change. Mm, so this is the word change. Change. We want the word chain. Can you say chain? Chain. Good. Much better. Good job, John. Food chain. All right, and the last sentence, Jack. It's 
was fun to learn about the forest. Very good. Your friend Spotty. Nice work, Jack. Okay. So good job on your homework, everybody. Thank you again, everyone who did it. So as far as I know, this is everyone who still needs to share their terrarium. Jack, Alex, Robert, Susie, and Pony. Raise your hand if you have not shared your terrarium yet. Tway An, you need to share yours. All right, so Tway An needs to share. Anyone else? All right, so this is everyone then, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's get started then. We have a lot to get through. Our wheel is up. All right. Let's take a look. First things first, Susie, you have two videos, Susie. Um, which one should I show? There's Susie. There's one and two. Is it the second video, Susie, that I should the show? The second video. Which one? The first or second? The second. Second. Okay. There Hello, everyone. Today I will talk about my rainforest environment. It rains too much, so they call them rainforest environment. I will talk more about this rainforest environment. First of all, the plants, the flowers, and the animals are the living things. And the rocks, the gas, the water, and the soil are the non-living things. Here is a ladybug. A ladybug can help the plants by pollinate. And this is and this is a rabbit. The rabbit can help the plants by spreading seeds. The plants can help the animals by give them shelter and give them food too. job. She talks about how plants need animals, how animals need plants. Let's have everyone ask Susie some questions. All right, Ben, Ben, could you ask a question or give a comment about Susie's terrarium? I cannot see a terrarium. Did you not watch the video, Ben? Yes, but I cannot see the terrarium. Uh, do you have it next to you, Susie? Could you hold it up? There you are. Ben, could you uh, a little closer to the camera, Susie? Good. Can you ask a question now, Ben? Yes. Go ahead. You can ask about plants, about animals, living, non-living. It is beautiful. Or give a compliment. Very nice. It is beautiful. Thank you, Ben. Okay, uh, let's see. Lion. Lion, could you ask a question or give a compliment to Susie? Um, what are uh, living and non-living? All right, the living and non-living things in your terrarium, Susie. The living things in my terrarium is the plants and the flowers and the animals. And the non-living things in my terrarium is the glass, the water, the soil, and the air. Very nice. Excellent job, Susie. Great question, Lion. Anyone else have a question? All right, let's have you spin the wheel one time. Uh, why does your animal live in this environment? The ladybug lives in this environment because it loves up 
treats to keep them cool. Very good, to keep them cool. Maybe, what does it eat, Susie? Um, it can pollinate. Very good, it helps pollinate. Excellent job. And it eats the nectar and the plants. Susie, very beautiful terrarium and great presentation. A lot of really good information. All right, thank you, Susie, for sharing. Also, Thomas did have a good point. I didn't notice you had said. Remember, grass are living, not non-living things. Grass and plants are alive. Okay, next one, let's take a look at Alex's. Alex, let's watch your video next. Hello, everyone. I am Alex. Today, I will talk about ocean. See my design of an ocean. It has salt water. It, ocean is an environment of lots of animals. Fish, coral, octopus, Ooh. and crab, and other animal else. The octopus can put ink from when it's in danger, it will put it out of its body. The crab crawls along the shore. The fish swim. And when it sees food, it will eat. It eats. I have rocks. When animals see danger, it will hide behind and coral. Corals, it is look like a plant, but it's not. It is an animal. Very good, Alex. The fish has fins to swim. It has gills. Very nice. You have to protect the ocean. If, if we don't protect it, animal will die. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. everyone. All right, excellent job, Alex. Thank you for sharing your terrarium, Alex. How about Perry? Doing dead, you have living thing and non living thing. Very nice, Alex. The living thing is the crab, the fish, the octopus, and the coral. The non living thing is the rocks and the seaweed. Is seaweed a plant? Right, seaweed is a plant, right? Yes. So are, is seaweed living or non-living? Living. Living, very good. Okay, great job, Alex, and good question. How about Pirates, could you ask a question or give a comment? I don't have a question. Then you can give a comment. Can you just say something that you liked about Alex's terrarium? The ocean is beautiful. Mm, very good. I know I really liked how you used the paper clip and the string to make the octopus. It's really, really cool. I was very impressed. Okay, let's take a look. Um, Robert, did you also have a question for Alex or a comment? Um, why does the crab so big? 
so round. To look like a coral. <laughs> That's a good idea, Alex. Maybe the crab wants to camouflage with the coral. Very nice. Thank you, Robert. Good question. Alex, let's have you answer one of the spinning wheel questions. Tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. How do the plants help the animals? The plants help the animal to eat. Very good, the plants, the animals can eat the plants. Very nice, Alex. They can also hide and other things. All right, great work. I really liked your terrarium. Let's go on to next. How about we do, let's do Robert next. Robert, let's take a look at your video. Let me make it a little bit bigger so everyone can see it nice and clearly. Okay. Hello everyone. I make a model of the desert here. Wow. The desert has lots of sand. The desert does not have much water. The desert is hot. This is a camel. The camel has a hump. The hump has blubber inside. So the camel isn't hungry. This is scorpion. It has poison in its tail. This is a desert cobra. It has poison in its fang. Wow, these are cool animals. It is pretending to die. So the this tiger salamander will come near and it will eat it. This is a tiger salamander. It's, it's time to lie under the ground. So it wouldn't be too hot. This is very good. A cactus. Cactus is a plant. It's has long, long roots, so it can take water deep under the ground. Very good. I love that you're telling us about the adaptations, the long roots of the cactus, the venom, how some of the animals hide underground during the day when it's hot. This is some excellent information, Robert. I am very impressed. Very, very good job. Okay, let me unmute Robert so we can hear him. And everyone, please raise your hand with a question. How about Thomas? Thomas, can you ask a question to Robert about his desert? Yes. Why you said the desert has less water, but I see a big pond of water. Uh, that is a bit of water. A big pond. It's not a big pond. Robert says it's not a big pond. It's just a small puddle of water. Water is sometimes in the desert. We call that an oasis. That's where the camels go to drink water and the other animals. And then they store it in their bodies and use it for a long time. Where they find a cactus or a plant to drink from? Good question, Thomas, and good answer, Robert. Let's have another question. Lily, Lily, can you ask a question or say something about Robert's terrarium? What if you're not living thing and living thing? 
All right, Robert, what's your living and non-living things? Your non-living thing is the dead plants and the water and the sand. Very good. And what are your living things? The living things is the cactus, the desert, cobra, the tiger, salamander, the camel, and the scorpion. Very nice, Robert. Excellent answer and good question, Lily. All right, Robert, let's have you spin the wheel once. Here we are. Okay, Robert, make sure you tell me when to stop. Don't let it go too long. Stop. What? Oh, you've already answered that question in purple, so let's do the one in pink. Describe your environment. Tell us about the desert. What like. I describe in the movie. I know, that's okay. Just say a couple of words about it. It has a lot of sand sometimes. It has a sand. Sand floor? Yes, a sand floor. Very good. Excellent job, Robert. Really, really good job. I like you had some very, very good information in there. Okay, let's take a break from the videos. Why don't we have Thuy An share? Thuy An, can you bring up your terrarium and show it to us? Here. Yeah. Very good. All right, what is your hat? What is your environment? And tell us about it. My habitat is in the ocean. Wow, what animals do you have? What plants? Go ahead and tell us everything. I have a dolphin and a turtle and a fish. And coral reef. Very nice. What are the, what are the non-living things? Non-living things. The sea. And the sand. Very nice. Can you show us your animals again? Yeah. Cool, and where's your coral? Can you point to yeah. your coral? Very nice. Wow, anything else you wanna tell us maybe about the ocean or about your terrarium? The fish, if the fish don't have water, the fish will die. Mm-hmm. Very good. That's a great reason they live in the ocean. How does the whale survive in that environment? The whale eats fish. Eats fish? Very good. Do you know how the whale breathes? I'm not sure. That's okay. It has a little hole. It has a hole on its back. I see Lion showing us an example in his video, and it breathes in through that hole on its back when it comes up to the surface of the water. Okay, who has a question or a comment for Tway An? How about Pony? Why do the dolphin live in the ocean? Very good. Why does the dolphin live there, Tway An? Because the dolphin need to breathe and the dolphin... Does it have feet? Does it have... Can it live on land? Why does it live in the ocean and not on land? The whale live on land, it will die too. Mm -hmm. Like a fish. Very good. It's more like a fish. It has fins, right? Great question, Pony. Let's have one more. Is Potato back in his seat yet? Potato, are you there? Potato, you need to be paying attention. Okay, I've called you out twice now for not listening. One more time, 
Okay, and Miss Kim will send an email to your parents about this. You need to pay attention during class. All right, do you know what environment Tui An was sharing? Tui An sharing in the environment in the ocean. Very good. Could you ask Tui An a question or give her a nice compliment about her terrarium? Why the why it didn't have didn't have water? Very good question. Thank you, Potato. Tui An, why doesn't your terrarium have water? Because if it don't have water, the fish and the turtle cannot breathe. Very good. And I think the terrarium itself doesn't have water because it's just a model, right? You can't put water in with paper. Very nice, Tui An, and very, very good project. I was very impressed. All right, everyone, let's clap for Tui An. <laughs> very nice. Okay, let's share our next one. It looks like our next one is from Pony. Pony, let's take a look at your terrarium. Let me put it over here in the middle. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Pony. Today, I will talk about my model of the ocean and my drawing of the ocean. Wow, this is amazing. The living thing is the parrotfish. The kelp, the coral, the sharks, the mm. big fish, the lionfish. The non-living thing is the sand, the rocks, the air, the water. Kelp needs sunlight to grow. Little fish need kelp to eat. Big fish need little fish to eat. Sharks need big fish to eat too. The Very coral good. needs a big shelter for the fish and the sharks. It makes the hiding for the little fish, the big fish, and the sharks. Thank you for watching my video. That is my video. Thank you. Very good. I love how you talked about the coral reef being a shelter. All right, excellent work about the living and non-living things. Very good, Pony. Let me wind this back a little bit to here where we can actually see your terrarium. I see you have plants and things in it too. And you talk about the ocean. Okay, let's have some questions. Let's have some questions. Riku? Why in the ocean have many leaves? All right, why does the ocean have a lot of leaves, Pony? Um, it's a coral. They're coral, or what was the other plant you said, Pony? Kelp. Kelp, right? Corals are animals. The leaves could also be kelp. Nice job, good question, Riku, and good answer, Pony. Anyone else have a question? Raise your hand in your video if you have a question for Pony. Nick, Big Splash? Why see a, a bottle here and have many leaf and stem? She, um, that's the same question that Riku asked. She said it's coral and kelp, right? That represents the coral and kelp. Anyone else? Lion? Why do you make one in the mouth and then you make one in the... And make one drawing? One draw and one uh, you make? All right, why did you make one and why did you draw one, Pony? Because the model is so smart. Mmm, got it. The model's small. She wanted to make it bigger to share with us. Great answer. All right, Pony. Excellent, excellent work. Very good. We have one more left to watch. 
So let's give a watch to Jack. All right, Jack, let's take a look at your video. Hello, everyone. My name is Jack. Today I will talk to you about my dad's fish tank. The fish eat. The fish is a living thing. The plant is a living thing. The rock is a non-living thing. And the water is a non-living thing. I have one orange fish and four black fish. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. All right, short and sweet, but I like your fish tank. It's nice that you have this at home. He says some living and non-living things. All right, Rio and Lily, be ready. I'll ask you both a question. Let's ask Rio first. Rio, do you have a question? Why do some trees are straight, but some trees do not straight? All right, interesting. So why do some trees grow maybe up and some don't? What do you think, uh, Jack? Why do your trees look different? Because the tree is big and the tree is small, so they are different. Very good, so maybe they, they're different sizes. Great answer, Jack, and good question, Rio. Thank you. Okay. All right, and let's have Lily ask a question. And then Leo. Leo, be ready. Go ahead, Lily. They are so beautiful. Very nice. Lily wanted to give a compliment. So sweet, Lily. All right, and Leo. In in your dad tank tank, how many fish your dad have? Very good, Leo. How many fish do you have, Jack? Five. Five. Interesting. I buy, I, I buy so many and they die so many. Aww. I buy more and more and they die more and die more. Aw, that's sad. So many of the fish die. Pirates, did you also have a question? I saw you raise your hand. Why uh, the rock is... So different. Why is what different? Why the why the rocks you are different. So why do you think the rocks look the way they do, Jack? What do you think? Because my dad died a small in the big rock. Hmm, got it. My dad buy some small and some big. Nice, very good. It's good to have variety for the different kinds of fish. All right, guys, great work. That is all of our terrariums. Everyone's gotten to share their terrarium now. So, great job, everybody. Your homework tonight is right here, right so these are, these are in a full sentence. All right, a full sentence. I want you to write one thing you liked about making a terrarium. I liked that it was fun. I liked building it. I liked learning more about the environment. Okay, one sentence about what you liked about making a terrarium. Two, write one thing you did well when you presented. I looked at the camera. I talked loudly, okay? Number three, write one thing you want to improve. That means get better at when you present. I want to be better at speaking clearly. I want to be better at explaining my terrarium. I want to be better at looking at the camera. Okay? So at the end of your homework, you will have three full sentences. One, two, three. 
Okay. All right, that's all for class today. So everybody, I will see you tomorrow. Make sure that you do your homework. Okay, there's no excuses. Write your three sentences. All right, and with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye everybody. See you guys tomorrow.